You can group fixed assets to simplify your work with them. When creating a new group, you set depreciation parameters for all fixed assets that will be added to this group later on. As a general rule, fixed assets are grouped depending on their purpose, although such characteristics as the cost of a fixed asset or its belonging to luxury items are considered too. Tax authorities may impose their own regulations regarding the grouping of fixed assets and define depreciation periods for specific fixed asset groups. Adding a fixed asset to the group allows to promptly assign depreciation parameters to the fixed asset, the same parameters that were chosen for the rest of fixed assets in the group. First, you provide a name for the group and add its description if necessary. Then, you set the depreciation parameters for the group that will further be assigned to fixed assets in the group, such as method of depreciation, useful life, which is the number of months over which a fixed asset's cost is depreciated and accounts for recording the fixed asset cost, depreciation, and depreciation expenses. You fill in all the required fields and click on the Save button.